God started the formation of the world with a word. In the beginning, God said, let there be light, and there was light. God also said that as his children, if we got faith the size of a mustard seed, we can speak to mountains in our life and cause these mountains to move. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Thank you all out there and in here who took some time out to give to the Lord. Amen. We could have been doing anything we want to because we serve the Lord who give us free will. Yes. But we've decided to give a little time to the Lord this morning. Amen. Now, I know some of you all probably stopped on that word little when you heard the little time. Amen. <laughs> Especially you have to look now, Pastor, I ain't fit. I got to go listen to somebody else. I ain't be, you ain't be holding me up here no 35, 40 minutes. <laughs> You're absolutely right. How about an hour? <laughs> yeah, man. Amen. I see y'all Don't turn me off. Don't turn me off. Y'all don't turn me off. Let me find somebody else. Amen. <laughs> My folks in there reaching for their purse already. Hey? <laughs> Come on now, y'all. Hey, Amen. Amen. I want to say, I know, I know this is not necessary, and I know you know who you are, but I want to say this to my dear sister and brother who gave to the congregation on last Lord, Lord on, on, on last week for the Lord. Amen. Your donation is very much needed, Amen. but more than that, it's very much appreciated. Amen. 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 You didn't have to do what you, you did for us, but we, we thank you so much. I, I thank you from the bottom of our heart. Because I want Anna Street Community Church to be able to continue to do the things that we do for our community and for our members. Amen. 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 Today I won't be up here long. Uh, I'm, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about something. Uh, every, every once in a while we get those lessons that are kind of sentimental because they bring flashes of information back before us. And I hope it's the same with you. I'm going to mention the man. I'm going to mention grandparents, you know, grandmothers, and grandfathers when we talk about this. But the main gist of this is that I want you to understand something. What we leave this world, what we leave behind, can only be what we show people. Amen. If our desire is to have a better community, if our desire is to have better people in our lives and to know how to treat people, we have to show them that. Amen. Well, Pastor, I, 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 just, I just don't know. Well. The Bible teaches me that, and you, we say this sometimes in our own slang way, we say, we're the only Bible anyone will ever read. Well, if they're not reading what we're doing is good, how can we blame them for not being good? Don't forget to teach your children what grandparents taught you. Our lesson today is entitled, Pass It On. We must pass it on. Our parents, and I know my parents, and I know your grandparents did. And I said, well, why are you talking about grandparents and not parents? Every one of them, for the most part, have love and caring and devotion and patience in their memory when it comes to grandparents. We might not have this when it comes to our parents. They may. Amen. Yeah, looking at me like, okay, what did he say? No, I'm just trying to say that there are young parents. We have parents, of course, some we have parents that care for us and have done the same thing as grandparents. But for the most part, I'm talking about parents, grandparents of the day. Mm -hmm. Today's grandparents. I'm talking about 40 year old grandparents. Amen. 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 What did you say? 40 year old parents? Amen. I said 40 year old grandparents. Amen. Amen. I'm talking to the grandparents who still want to party. <laughs> All right. I'm talking to the grandparents who still want to get your boogie on, baby. All right. All right. All right. I'm talking to the grandparents who still want to. This ain't what they want. They don't know me like that. Yeah. <laughs> the example you leave is the example your children going to leave for your great grandchildren. Amen. I don't care Amen. if you stand in the door and somebody you can't leave that bad boy here with me. Well. <laughs> you show that bad boy how he ought to act. Amen. Amen. The things my grandparents passed on to me. Love for all people. Amen. Ephesians 15, 1 and 2 teach us that. They taught us how to tolerate folk different from us. 
-hmm. You're going to see what I mean when I get into my lesson a little bit further. I know how we are because sometimes they ain't like us. Well, amen. they don't do what we do. Mm -hmm. They don't talk how we talk. Mm -hmm. We get to the point where they don't even dress like we dress. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We ain't trying to be, uh uh, no, Lord. I don't want to be mistaking me for a Mormon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Back in the day, that's all they were be mistaking you for Christians, mm -hmm. Mormon. Mm -hmm. You dressed like Mormon amen. back then. Amen. 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 Some of us young parents today, Ain't no way in the world they'd have made it back there in the church that y'all came up in. Amen. Mm -hmm. Bring your skirts down to him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You tell one of these young 40 year old grandparents now where your skirt if you want you to tell. Next time you see it, it'll be higher. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. They taught us, our grandparents taught us how to help each other. Amen. Woo! Our 40 year old some grandparents, they don't know nothing about it. What? Please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I ain't trying to do that. You yeah. shouldn't have went out there and done that. Okay. But you can come over and ask me for something? No. Mm -hmm. Grandparents. Your grandparents, my grandparents, taught us how to help each other. Didn't matter you ain't like it. That's right. That's right. You better help your folks. Let me find out you ain't helping them. Amen. Amen. They tell you that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They taught us how to be each other's keeper. According oh, yeah. to Romans 14 and 12, that's what we're supposed to be doing anyway. Grandparents are known for how they spoil their grandchildren. <laughs> Amen. 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 Give the grandchildren lots of attention. Amen. Better not mess with it. Ain't that right? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise Amen. God. Amen. 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 He looking at me like he talking. Yeah, I'm talking to you. So at least don't play about you. <laughs> Grandparents <laughs> will come to the rescue if regardless. Amen. 40 year old grandparents, don't call me. <laughs> <laughs> don't call me. What you mean? You well? <laughs> Child, I'm finna go out. <laughs> <laughs> grandparents play a huge role in shaping our past, our present, and our future. Amen. Amen. Nobody can give you advice like a grandparent. Amen. Nobody. That's right. Grandparents taught us to teach, taught us to be. On our best behavior. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, I remember granddad telling me one time, we go out there to that school, and folks told me that you've been cutting up out there. Mm -hmm. They said, if you continue, I'm going to have to come out there. Mm -hmm. You know I work, right? I said, yes, sir. You know I don't want to miss work. Mm -hmm. No, sir. I don't want you to miss. Mm -hmm. You better be on your best behavior the rest of the school year. Amen. Mm -hmm. Woo, I was on my best behavior to that last day of school that they don't count. <laughs> <laughs> they teach us too many lessons to count, grandparents do. Yes, they do. Grandparents do. But we forget some of them. Mm -hmm. Some of them we try to forget. Mm -hmm. You hear folks now mm -hmm. when they 20 something. Oh, Lord, I couldn't wait to get out of my, my grandpa's house. Because most of us stay with our grandpa. Amen. 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 A lot of folks now stay with grandpa. Can't stay with mama. Part of some of your old mamas and daddies ain't going to have you staying with them. You're a grandchild. Mm. <laughs> They'll tell you you got a mom. Mm -hmm. You got a dad. Mm -hmm. Right? That's the part of some of you. I ain't talking about y'all. I ain't talking about us. Because mm -hmm. you know we'll take gratitude. That's another topic. I don't even want to preach on that. We'll take Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, maybe I need to say something on that now. Y'all got quiet on me. <laughs> <laughs> they are grandchildren. They are not ours to keep. Amen. 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 Okay. There's a reason the word well, grand is in there. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Amen. Because <laughs> I know us, we'll take them. Mm. Raise them up. Mm -hmm. They last name ain't got to be the same. <laughs> Folks be looking at them like they're lame. No, ain't no lame. I just raised him. <laughs> <laughs> that boy lived with you all that time and his last name was what? <laughs> we take children. Amen. <laughs> Let's not take them now. Amen. Amen. They teach us to be on our best behavior according to Proverbs 2 and 9. That's what they, that's what we should. They install in us certain skills. They teach us our P's and Q's. They don't just tell us you better be on your P's and Q's. They let you know what your P's and Q's is. What is my P? My P. Don't talk when grown up talk to you. Amen. Mm -hmm. Say that again, brother. Amen. Amen. Your Q. I better not ever hear nobody tell, tell me you cursed or talk loud to Amen. somebody grown. Amen. 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 Teach that now. Amen. Our 40-year-old some grandparents said they got loud with you. I, I, if they get loud with you tomorrow, this is what I want you to do. You get loud with them too. Exactly. Mm -hmm. 
You telling your sixth grader to get loud with the teacher. Mm. Amen. And then they turn into a twelfth grader and they get loud with you. Mm. I don't know where that boy learned that from. Yeah, I do. Yes, sir. I know. Yes, I do. We need to teach our children how to be on their P's and they're cute. Amen. Amen. Just because somebody's misrepresenting you don't mean you got to talk about their mom. No, mm -hmm. you don't. Y'all didn't hear me. I you heard it. Just because somebody's lying on you mean don't mean you got to cuss. Amen. Amen. Say it again. Get them out. Say it again. You didn't learn no skills on how to handle a situation with people lying on you. Amen. Your mom and dad didn't give you no other skills. Mm. Something wrong with that. Who is your grandparent? Mm -hmm. They fought at something. Oh. <laughs> I don't know why he up there talking about 40 some year old grandparents. Oh, yeah. I'm a 40 some year old grandparent. I do well by my children. <laughs> Examine thyself. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. Examine yourself and ask if you can be doing better. Mm -hmm. Just ask. Amen. All of us can do better. Amen. Mm -hmm. Grand my, our grandparents taught us that beauty never fades. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Some of us misunderstood it. Mm -hmm. We thought that we had to go out and get the prettiest young lady or the most handsome young man. Well. So we live forever with them and that fade, it will never fade. Mm -hmm. 15, 20 years down the line, we wonder where them wrinkles come from. Mm -hmm. Your muscles used to be on the top of your shoulders. <laughs> Amen. 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 We be around there, we think, I don't care about no muscle. What? You see some? Yeah. <laughs> We've been married 15, 20 years. I don't care about no muscles no Amen. more. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Speak, brother. Your grandparents taught you that beauty goes deeper than skin. All right. right. So stop looking at my wrinkles mm -hmm. and start looking at the stuff that I do for you and sacrifice myself for you both. Amen. Amen. That's the beauty of the situation. Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's the beauty of the relationship. Amen. I used to wonder, and I know all young men wonder, wonder all the time, how in the world did he end up with her? <laughs> how in the world did she get him? Amen. Well, Be looking at folks, and he's such a handsome, woo, child, look at her. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that man can tell you something about her. Mm -hmm. He can tell you how beautiful she is. Yes. How he cares for her. Mm -hmm. him, how he does for him. Mm -hmm. Without having have, ever have, ever having to ask. Amen. Amen. Beauty is what you do for people. Amen. When they don't have to ask you for it. Say it again. It's Amen. a beautiful thing to wake up in the morning to breakfast and you ain't asked for it. Ooh, yes. It's a beautiful person that prepares dinner for you after a long day and didn't have to do it. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful people. It's a beautiful per person who stands in the gap when your dollars you made have done all it could do and you still fall short. Amen. That's a beautiful person to say. Don't worry about that baby. I got that. Hello. You know the folk around talking about, I don't know how he in up with her, or her with him. Mm -hmm. They don't pay no bill. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. They don't pay no bill. And they ain't got nobody who really care about it. Mm -hmm. Because if they did, they'd know how. Yes. Yeah, they right. And then they would pass that on to that you Amen. and the people they come in contact with. Mm -hmm. We got children, some of us have so many problems they come, have so many problems in the relationship, we wonder how the problem come up. We yeah. never had no problem like that. <laughs> well, how did they create that problem? <laughs> you ain't had no problem like that, but you still teach them how to love through problems. Amen. 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 We got to be there for our children and stop talking about how bad they are to other people. Amen. Amen. Yeah, they bad. I can see that. You ain't got to tell me. Yes, sir. What are you doing to help him learn him or her? Because I'm telling you something. I run into some girls. Yep. I run into some girl babies. This is how I have to talk to them. Y'all see where I'm looking now? I want to I look at you when I ask you this question. That's why I tell them. When I ask them questions, they start talking. I be like, hold on. I'm glad I didn't look up at you. There are some girl babies, just bad boy babies. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. And they get an example from the same people. Mm -hmm. Parents. Mm -hmm. If you're not being a good example to your children, your grandbabies, mm -hmm. your babies 
too, because you know we got babies that's 35, 36 years old, still need six samples. I don't care what they say. Yes, mm -hmm. they do. Because we were like that and we live. I don't know if you're not leave this house, I ain't finna do none of that. I definitely ain't going to church. Mm -hmm. yeah. sure. I've been to church from the time they slapped me on the rail till I walked out that house. I ain't going. I ain't got enough church for a lifetime. You know we said it. Mm -hmm. We go raise our family. We get comfortable on Sundays. We, mm -hmm. we said we weren't going to church. We ain't going. Mm -hmm. The babies get three, four, five years old. Then we go like, wait a minute. Maybe they need some church. Wait a minute. <laughs> now, mama and them didn't have that kind of trouble with me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What was I doing when I was five, six years old? Mm -hmm. God, church. <laughs> wow. Get up while you're going to church. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Teach them. Well, here's the lesson. I don't want you to miss. You can't teach children how to be better if you are not being better. Amen. You can say what you want to. Thank you. They're going to bring up, when you catch them in doing whatever it is you don't want them doing, they're going to bring up what they saw you doing. Amen. Mm -hmm. Well, they know that I was just celebrating at that time. Mm -hmm. This boy is a drunk. <laughs> well, hello? Well, he saw you drinking and he mm -hmm. thought it was okay. Yeah, that's right. That's Just right. because you were doing it on all the holiday. I heard somebody say, tell me one time, said the doctor told him that they was a drunk. You know, my wife was talking about this one time. And said that, that the doctor asked him, said, he said, no, nah, I'm not a drunk. He said, why you, why you say that? The doctor said, well, well, how often do you drink? He said, I only drink on holidays. And the doctor said, look at your results. You know, it seems like, you know, your kidney and stuff. Look like you drink all, often. He said, no, I don't drink. No more than the holiday. Groundhog Day. February. My Lucan Day. Free calendar day. <laughs> if it's on the calendar, it's a holiday, ain't it up? Oh wow. You can find an excuse to do anything you want to. Why not find an excuse to be the best person you can be for the folks that's watching you? Amen. Amen. No, I can't go. When I was younger, my daughter getting out of school. Five o'clock didn't see me. I had another partner. Five o'clock when he get to the house. Why? Our children are out of school. Mm -hmm. They got questions about the day. You need to be there for them. Amen. I was young then. Don't you know I have partners that want to hang out? Mm -hmm. Hang out. <laughs> As a young person, just getting out the house, I ain't never going to church no more. I wanted to hang out too. <laughs> and the Lord said, nope, you got a baby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to be an example to that baby, you need to be a, in a place where that baby can see you. Amen. Amen. I had to go home. Mm -hmm. I had to tuck them in at a certain time. Mm -hmm. I had to make sure that they washed them set. Mm -hmm. I had to make sure they brushed their teeth. I had to make sure the clothes were laid out like I do. Right? right. So they get older. This is a practice now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't you teach them how to brush their teeth? Amen. Mm -hmm. Well, y'all teach them how to talk to people too. Amen. Amen. With them good Smelling breath and teeth. Amen. Amen. Beauty never fades. They also taught us to remember where you came from. Yes, sir. Exodus 13 and 30 will remind us of that. We all owe our existence to those who came before us. Grandparents connect us to the roots and help us to understand more about who we are and who we want to be. <laughs> all problems and solution. I mean, all problems have a solution. Learn it from grandparents, too. 40-year-old grandparents, they don't have solutions for all the problems that come up. Why? They fought it. <laughs> you can't expect someone 40-year-old to give you advice to someone who's 65, 70, 80 years old. They live more. Mm -hmm. They got more stuff to show you. Let me tell you something. I say this every once in a while, and I'm going to tell y'all again, young folks. Y'all might think I'm just being crazy. Find you someone old mm -hmm. and hang out with them. Amen. Amen. I do. Find you an elderly yes. person mm -hmm. and hang out. Amen. You ain't going over there for nothing. You just hanging out. Amen. Amen. <coughs> and watch what happened to your life. Mm -hmm. well. Just watch. Don't go over there. And look, let me, let me lay this, let me lay this down for you too. When I, my pastor told me to find me an older person to hang out with. You. Old folk don't want you hanging out with them for free. Mm -hmm. They gonna give you stuff. Mm -hmm. They're going to try to give you money. You didn't have to come over. They'll try to get, try not to take it. It's going to be hard. Mm -hmm. Try not to take it from the elderly people, grandparents. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell them you keep it. And even if they make you keep it, go spend it on them. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, I know young folks look to be crazy now for what? Mm -hmm. 
I promise you, <coughs> the money that you spend on them will ten times back to you. Amen. You ain't even know where it come from. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's true. Listen, your preacher don't want to be a senior citizen, <laughs> but he is. Amen. Mm -hmm. Which means he lived long enough to see something. I wouldn't dare get in this pulpit and tell you something if I don't know it. Mm -hmm. And it hadn't happened to me. Amen. For my last 35, 40 years on this earth, every time I've given without the expectation of getting something, I've gotten so much back, I was scared to spend it. Mm -hmm. Y'all don't hear me. We hear you. Where did this we come from? You. Why is the Lord blessing me with this? Don't even be needing nothing. Mm -hmm. Take this, you'll need it later. Mm -hmm. Because of something I did earlier, that I learned from my grandmother to do without taking my, uh, uh, later down the street. Mm. People in here might know her. Miss Feeney. Mm. Amen. Little down the street. Miss Feeney wasn't going to be buying no electrical stove, no gas stove. But she had that pot belly, black stove. She cooked everything on it. Amen. So she, it required her to have wood chop. Well, I'm sixth grade. Grandmother was down there talking to her. We walked over. I met her halfway walking back. And she says, I want you to go check on Miss Feeney every day. I'm like, okay. So I go down there, Miss Feeney said, oh, Miss Rosa said you'd be coming. She said, uh, do you know how to cut wood? I said, yes, ma'am. I went around and I got that ass like I cut my foot off. <laughs> she said, no, 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 no. She showed me how to do it. Every day when she needed, I was cutting wood. I practiced. I had a little grip body. Mm. <laughs> cutting that wood because I looked at it as exercise. Woo! <laughs> Running man. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Amen. Cut her yard. She had one of them lawnmowers. Y'all don't know about this. Young folks don't know about the lawnmowers you push. Ain't no motor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It just got a lot of blades. Mm -hmm. And you just go across <laughs> until it get dull. Mm -hmm. Then you had to learn how to file the blade. I did all that all the way up. This family tried for years to give me money for stuff that I've done. Don't they? Stick yeah, that's right. I'll stick getting. You got to stop and pull, pull that stick out of there. I graduated high school. The little hand woke me up about 6 o'clock in the morning. I turned in my bed. There's Miss Feeney standing. Miss Feeney in my house. <laughs> She said, I brought you something. Here. I said, thank you. She put it on. She didn't get my hand. She put it on my pillow. I said, oh, okay. Look, it's 6 o'clock. I'm going to get a few more sleep. We're graduating this day. She brought me a graduation present. Miss Feeney was on a fixed income and didn't have much. Amen. She gave me 12 $100 bills. Wow. wow. I hadn't had that much money. It scared me. <laughs> what is this? I ain't going to no college. I'm rich. I'm rich. I'm rich. I'm rich. <laughs> hey, man. I tell you that story to make you understand. When you invest in doing good, it's going to show up in space every time. Amen. Amen. Yes, sir. Every time. Amen. Amen. They taught us. Grandparents taught us that life is too short. It is. Life can happen. You, you remember grandparents used to tell you, life can happen in the blink of an eye. Mm -hmm. Telling us that so we wouldn't have to be, so we wouldn't worry and stress over stuff that life brings us. Mm -hmm. I'm standing before you today to tell you something, church. If you don't teach the lessons that your grandparents taught you, to your children or your grandparents, how can you expect the world that you're going to live in when you get older to be better? Amen. Amen. Who wants to be sitting on a porch that they built because they knew that when they got old they want to enjoy their porch? Who want to be sitting out there and they ain't able to sit out there unless they got a six shooter or eight Amen. shooter or a triple eight shooter? Mm. Who want to be sitting out there here and draw my porch but uh, well, I can't go to sleep because see her? These children we raised today, they'll come up in here and mess with you in your sleep. Mm -hmm. Who want them? Nobody. Nobody. Well, right. oh, I, I stand I do the best I can by my children. You're going to come in contact with somebody else's children. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
you got a child you know down the street from you that work at the grocery store. You see them cutting up all the time, you ain't gonna send nothing to them because they ain't your children. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well. No, you children today will shoot you. <laughs> children yesterday would have shot you. Yes, they will. But the Lord saw fit for you to see today. Mm -hmm. Right. Say something to them. Amen. Amen. Live in a way where you don't have to say something to them. Now, if you live in a way, you know what I say? When they see you, they're going to stop playing. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Amen. All right. Now, this lesson has a tendency to go long, so I'm going straight to a story. All right. I'm going straight to a story. Now, I want you all to understand. What I just told you, capitalize this. What I just told you is that I need for you to give the best that you have the best that's been taught to you by your grandparent to the people that you come in contact. Amen. Your children, your grandchildren, your niece, your nephew. That's what I'm asking you, right? Yeah. Why? Spirit, this story is a very special bank account. Imagine you had a bank account that deposited $86,400 every morning. The account carries over no balance from day to day. Mm. It allows you to keep no cash balance, mm. and every evening, it cancels whatever part of the amount you failed to use that day. Mm. What would you do? Would you draw out all the money every day? Mm. We all have this bank. <laughs> this bank is time. Mm -hmm. Every morning, time credits us with 86,400 seconds. Every night, it write it off. As a law. Whatever time you fail to use wisely, it's written off. Amen. It carries over no balance Amen. from day to day. It allows no overdrafts, so you can't borrow against your mama. Amen. And you can't borrow more time than you have. Mm -hmm. Each day, the, it start, the account starts all over. Each night, it destroys any unused time. That's true. And if you fail to use today's deposit, it's your loss, and you can't appeal to get it back. Amen. There is never any borrowing of time. You can't take out a loan on your time or against someone else's time. The time you have is the time you have, and that is that. Time management, this is what I want you to get. It goes with this lesson. Time management is yours to decide how you spend the time. Just as with money, you decide how you spend the money. It is never the case of us not having enough time to do things, but it's the case of whether we want to do them and where they fall on our priorities. Amen. I stand before you today to plead with you to make leaving a good example your priority for your children for your nieces, for your nephews, for all those that you come in contact with. Because one of these days we're going to get old. And I don't want to be, and you don't want to be living, an old person talking about you got to shoot somebody, mm -hmm. knowing that if you authorized to kick in at the time, your trigger finger won't even work. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds to me it would be easier if you just teach people how to act. Amen. Amen. And you can do that by living how you act. Amen. Amen. My wife and I, when my, my grandson was younger, and my daughter would take a trip with us. we go on trips, and they'd start counting. One, two, three. We asked one day, why y'all count? They said, we count the arguments y'all had since we left. <laughs> Amen. 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 That told us something. Mm -hmm. We don't need to let them see us argue. Amen. 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 You going to have arguments. Amen. But we want them to see that we are lovebirds, baby. Amen. Amen. We don't want to show them how to argue. They can learn that on their own. That's right. Life. You need to hear stuff like every time I saw mom and dad, I ain't see one without the other. Amen. 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 Every time I, saw, I, I, I used to say this about Brother Bird, I'll tell you, it just touched me when I see it. He'd get out of his car and go Amen. around the side, open the door for, door for Sister Bird, and grab her purse and walk with her. Amen. 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 That's Amen. beautiful. Walking with a machine out of the I ain't grab my wife's purse, though. <laughs> I go around and open the door and let her get her purse heavy. Hey, man, I guess that's why Brother Bird was getting his, her, her purse was heavy. 
She needs to stop putting stuff in her purse. My wife needs to stop putting stuff in her purse that make it heavy. Amen. <laughs> what are you talking about? You fill in the blank. All right. <laughs> we have to learn how to do the type of thing to pass on to our children. Amen. Now, I want you to think about this, brother. Now, I want you to think about this, married brother, married brother, married brother. <laughs> Just not in here. When the last time you opened door for your beautiful wife? When the last time you told her how beautiful she was, Jim McCall? When the last time you, you told her you liked the food that she cooked, even though she knows that's not the food you like? <laughs> well, Amen. Amen, brother. We got to learn. Because our folk, our children are watching us. Mm -hmm. Amen. Well, Pastor, can we learn how to show our children that we don't like the food? Yes. Mm -hmm. Baby, this stop putting a whole lot of work into this. But next time, could you uh, maybe not uh, burn it? <laughs> I can eat it a little bit better. I can enjoy more of it mm -hmm. if it's not Cajun style. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Church, I'm standing before you to let you know something. Our world ain't going to get no better. Until we show folks how good we are. Amen. And I ain't just talking about folks that we come in contact with our everyday life. We're going to give our best to our children. I already know that. Mm -hmm. And as a grandparent, we're going to give our best to our grandchildren. I already know that. Mm -hmm. But are we giving enough to our children, our grandchildren, no the type of skill that they need so they can transfer it to the people that they come in contact with? Amen. Because if they can't transfer the skill that we're giving it to the people that they come in contact with, what good is it? Amen. Well, You're going to have them hanging out with children and doing things that they don't normally do because they aren't able to transfer the skill that you taught them? Because mm. we got the skill. If they got the skill that we taught them, our children and the children that they hang out with won't be caught on the streets of Memphis with an AK-47. Say that again. Amen. Say that again. Our children ain't going to be caught on the camera reaching off in McDonald's, Crystal, or whatever, stealing out the record. Amen. Say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Because we teach our children and we show our children what caring, giving, and being polite is all about. Amen. Amen. Teach your children patience. A lot of times the thing that's happening with the children that we see on television is because they have not been taught love and patience. Mm -hmm. What I got to wait on there for? I go rob some, 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 right. get what I want. If you're patient enough, the Lord make a way to where you can earn that. That's right. But you got to be patient. That's right. Where you going to learn patience from? The people I see the most. That's right. Amen. Amen. The people I see the most. Amen. Mm -hmm. If your children are seeing some folks more than they're seeing you, mm. and they are acting a certain way, mm. have a talk Amen. with the people they're seeing the most. Amen. Amen. Let them know my upbringing. Mm -hmm. My upbringing won't allow my child to be a part of this. Amen. 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 Teach them how to make friends. Amen. A lot of what's going on with our children, and I'm going to get you all out of here with this, a lot of what's going on with our children because they, they don't know how to make friends. Right. They get drawn into situations with gangs and other things like that because they are not good friend makers. So once they get the attention of other folk, they feel like these are friends. These mm -hmm. are family. Mm -hmm. But what they really are, someone who paid them some attention. That's what they look and now they're going off into a situation without the skills and know-how to get out. Amen. Amen. Teach our children so they won't become prey to gangs. And I ain't going to just say gangs. I'm just going to say anybody. Mm -hmm. Teach them how to be a better person. I want my daughter, I want my grandson to be an extension <laughs> of who I am. I want them to be able to say, that boy acting like his grand granddad. Amen. What are they pulling out? The crazy granddad? <laughs> or the Christ or the Christian granddad? Mm -hmm. Well, it's going to depend on what I showed him. Amen. What I showed him is what they're going to be seeing in him because Amen. that's what he's going to be emanating. Amen. I hope and pray that I've said something to you this morning that can help you in the week that's coming up. And as always, all, all the time, before we sign off, I want to say this to you because I really, really mean it. Be good to yourself. I don't care if people talk about you treating yourself every once in a while. Treat yourself, be good to yourself, and be the strongest self you can be. Because when people want you or need you, they don't need you limping in there. Mm -hmm. They need you coming in there ready. Amen. You can't do that if you don't take care of you. Amen. Take care of yourself and each other. Amen. And come back and join us next Sunday as we again expound on the word of the Lord. Thank you. May God continue to bless you.